tomorrow I will hit the 1,900,000 kilometers. The wheel has been three times changed. I mean it's uh, 14th repaired now. Just one time LMS sent um, this one. It was 11 months later than I did the 1 million kilometer. No, I'm no taxi driver or anything. There is a lot of information about you online, uh, some of it uh, based on your posts on uh, Twitter and so on. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, you're already like a, a legend with uh, a lot of controversial information. And now we want to find out everything from you from first hand. Mm -hmm. So uh, how, you managed to, how did you manage to put so many kilometers in quite a small time, I would say, if you count how many kilometers per day you, you have done? It's actually a lot. So the car I've... Um, bought in 2014. 2014. As a customer car with 30,000 kilometers. And then I've driven with the car. And now what's the mileage of this car? Now, um, tomorrow, I will hit the 1,900,000 kilometers. The yes, uh, battery has been three times changed. In warranty, it was changed to a repaired battery. The third Yes, battery, the battery is now a new one. No. I have it since March in it. So it's the two batteries before. They was repaired batteries from Tesla, of warranty. Okay. I had warranty without kilometer limit. Okay, and it's so perfect for me. <laughs> that's how you managed to <laughs> change the battery each time. Yes. Yeah? Uh, so the second repaired battery did 670,000 kilometers. Oh, quite a lot, quite a lot. Problem, yes. And the second repaired battery did 505,000 kilometers. And it's very good. And it now is, I it have is. a new in it and it has 150,000 kilometers. Since, since, since you put it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if, you, if counting the first battery when the car was new, it, it is a fourth battery now. So the first you had it yes. on you, yes. now it's mm -hmm. a fourth. Yes. Mm -hmm. quite, quite okay for such a mileage. <laughs> And uh, I know that you changed a lot of motors. What's the story with them? Motors was a problem from these special cars. The large drive unit have a problem. Yeah. Tesla is now uh, speaking about this problem. The other um, models are better, but I have a problem. I'm a carefully driver. I only drive 100 kilometers mostly. And I always had the problem, some driver who are strong driver, they have all 20,000 kilometers problems oh. with this kind of engine. Now I have been in Zagreb in Croatia and there's a special guide who is repairing the drive units. I've driven now 100,000 kilometers with this repaired motor without problems. And so before Repair by Tesla, I problem 50,000 kilometers, 70,000 kilometers. Only one engine did 780,000 kilometers without problems. Was it the first engine or the original? No, engine? it was in the middle, but I think it was a new engine. Okay. And the repaired engine hadn't been good. And if you count all of them, how many are on the list now? I mean it's uh, 14th repaired now, but I don't know after it's a customer car, I, the car came to me, if the motor was changed or not. So I must say 13th engine. And you had a lot of long trips as I know, from to, to China and then now you have just returned from a trip from Africa. Yes. Tell us a bit, more about, a bit more about that. This is a um, group uh, from 10 teams or 12 teams, sometimes 15 teams, with all kinds of electric cars. So oh. 10 teams and not, of course this car. We've driven near Algeria and was, had been in the desert. Yeah, I saw you entered actually the dessert in, in sand and it, it managed to, to drive quite well. Yes, a gasoline car would 
if they have problems with the dirty air, with the sand, but this car not, it <laughs> don't need any air. How many kilometers have you done now in this latest trip? I do so many kilometers that I don't look specially, but it must be 6,000 kilometers and more. In everyday life, do you drive it as well, just around home, around your city? Sometimes I'm driving here to make my kilometers, but mostly I'm everywhere. Uh, what about the China trip you made uh, a few years ago? Uh, you drove through quite harsh environment. In this case, I didn't drive own with the car. I took it over with container to Shanghai. It was an old timer really in China. Okay. In China is very heavy to take allowed to drive everywhere. It's not possible. You need a guide. And it was only an old timer rally and a friend from me said to me, for fun, would you like to drive with me? I said, why, why not? He said, you are with us. In China, the car had 530,000 kilometers and they said, okay, it's a little old timer, it can drive with us. <laughs> old timer, yeah. <laughs> can you show us how a Tesla with 1.9 million kilometers looks like today? I, I mean, it is interesting to, to explore it a bit, how the interior have kept, how the other parts are, in, in, in what conditions. Can we have a look inside? Yes, uh, of course. So. I need this for my back, but here the leader is perfect, it's very good. It is the original one? It's the first one, yes. Wow! <laughs> this is the first one too here. So this number will be changed soon into 1.9 million kilometers. So the owner says it will reach this mileage tomorrow, after our filming. So, you have inspired your neighbors to, to yes. drive a Tesla. <laughs> a Tesla too. <laughs> My neighbor Dörflinger. <laughs> have you ever been contacted by Tesla? to honor your effort of making so many miles on, uh, on the car. Yes, one time Elon Musk sent uh, this one. It was 11 months later than I did the one million kilometer. And oh. with the one million miles, he did nothing. So <laughs> you are about to reach <laughs> two million kilometers and maybe you receive <laughs> one more. <laughs> oh, you have to look. <laughs> He's not so interested, but he heard of the 13th engines and he's a special man who doesn't like to critic. Yeah. He has a problem, but I'm always by truth and I don't lie that I only need two engines. So I think he has this little problem with me at the moment. I'm driving not so fast, of course, and I know I'm charging to 100% and go not under 10% to supercharger, mostly about 20%. That is better for the battery and it has a long life. So you mostly have uh, supercharged? No, I have mostly charging at home. At the moment I have more supercharging because I'm Austria, Morocco and Sweden. But mostly I have some pictures here. I'm, at the moment I have more supercharger. I'm 65% supercharger, I think. Yes, there's a lot of red in it. Charging home, you use uh, mainly the energy from your solar panels? Panels. Yes, it's not so much. It's only for kilowatt hours. But when I'm over day here, I'm of course charging the sun power. 
And wasn't this car uh, from that years, uh, those years when uh, they have uh, free supercharging or something like that? This has free supercharging for life of the car. So you are enjoying free supercharging until now? Yes. <laughs> That's how your high mileage is still possible. <laughs> you can see here yesterday Switzerland 0.00. .00. <laughs> Well, that's quite twice, I would say. <laughs> so you can drive limitless, uh, having free supercharging and having uh, warranty on uh, batteries. On uh, now, I have not warranty, yeah. but for this cost, I can buy one or two batteries is no problem. In four years, perhaps I will buy another 90 kW battery. Then I can give this one another person who's not driving so much. He can the battery can have a long life with it. The last battery I've driven down, it had only a range from 260 kilometers, one range. And now what's your re real life range? The real life range is now 400 kilometers. It's showing. Now it has to, I think, 83%. It has a range with 345 kilometers. That's very good. People have, uh, have said on the internet that you actually sometimes uh, work uh, as a taxi driver or the Uber driver. I'm not sure that it, that's uh, the reality, but I want to ask you to, what, what you're doing for... No, uh, I'm no taxi driver or anything. I'm a private man. I did money with Tesla. Um, action or what did it... So English? you are a shareholder of Tesla, yeah? Yes, and I bought uh, devices euro dollar and etc so i did my money and i became some money for my parents they died so i have good money to drive and put my life on it so you're now enjoying the the product of the company you have invested in yes but here it's work too to drive so much is work yeah it's not only and to drive somewhere to look and drive back it's work to drive so much. And you have been an early investor at Tesla, if I'm, I understand correctly, yes? From, early, from the beginning of Tesla? Yes. Wow, that's, <laughs> that's a nice decision, a good decision to... It was to, a good decision and I would be get more, but I was be careful, but it's very okay, it's perfect. And going back in times when you actually choose to buy this car, it was your second Tesla, if I understand correctly. You had the yes. Roadster already. Yes. Uh, what made you uh, choose an electric car when it was not uh, such a trend as it is now? I read about the Roadster in Manager magazine in 28. So I thought four weeks about it. And then I written to California, I want this car. And so one and a half year later, I became the car, the Win 083. It's a signature car, the first hundred customers has written down. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's not here the Roadster because he had a little accident. Okay. That's the reason the Roadster is now here. And so what's the mileage on Roadster now? It has 735,000 kilometers, I think. I don't know it exactly at the moment. But it's a high mileage again. Yes. Did you have any problems with the soft, with the multimedia systems? Because there were times when uh, multimedia was uh, indicated to, to have some problems with these uh, models. Yes. Is it Sometimes I have a little bit problem. I have to often start this MCU yeah. because it's not working anymore. So I do this and it's coming it's again a few minutes. It's all right. Now, when you drove uh, through Sahara from Morocco, uh, the roads are sometimes uh, worse, let's say, and you, you actually have driven a lot in uh, areas which are more challenging for the car. Yes. Did the suspension cope well with all these variations of uh, terrain? Uh, I, I mean, it has a lot of mileage, so you would assume that it has some tiredness of the metal, maybe, or some... I, I have to look it. I have my people for this. 
one man in Zagreb and here I have some. The Tesla service is sometimes not so good. But now I will go next week to the Tesla service. Here is on the back sometimes in the X. That's normally for so a lot of kilometers. And so I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. So I hearing something and the car is not in perfect. I often know before the garage can see it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have mostly no problems. And two days ago, when you wrote me, you were in Spain, in Zaragoza, I think. So uh, you had quite a sprints to do. Uh, how many kilometers are you doing per 24 hours when you are driving uh, like a sprint, like to, to reach fast, as fast as you can? Uh, do you pass uh, 1000 kilometers per day? Yes, no problem. With a new battery. 1300 kilometers I have driven two per day. And how much does it take you to recharge from 10% um, or as you said you go to minimum and wait? Yes, then I go from 15% to 70%. It's better for the battery and it's faster. The higher the voltage in the battery, slower it's charging of course. I did 2015 a race from Tarifa to North Cap. We did 14,000 kilometers in 14 days in 12 countries and it was only a 85 kilowatt battery and so now it's possible and there had been only two superchargers in Spain there was charging very slow <laughs> Spain was a catastrophe and now but it's now better. actually there's no catastrophe anymore uh, now you, you have chargers everywhere. Uh, do you encounter yes, sometimes? You can uh, see here, here Morocco. One, where is the other? Two, three, four, five, six. Tanga is the first one. There was a time when every next charging point uh, needed to be uh, thought of and planned in advance. Uh, now with so many chargers. Do you have the same need to, to plan everything in advance or just uh, when you feel that uh, the car is uh, approaching a low uh, level of battery, you just you pick the next one and... Uh... No, when I'm sitting in the car I drive, I have not to plan before. So the car is planning if you want, if I want. But I'm more looking for superchargers. So I'm thinking you can see here. Okay, perhaps I drive a little bit slower to reach or I take a supercharger before. That's no problem. So much superchargers now. I began with three superchargers in Germany. What more secrets can you say us about uh, reaching this mileage? Because uh, even with changing the batteries, it's something really exceptional to, to have a Tesla with so high mileage. Tesla has a good air condition for the battery, of course, too. That's very important that the batteries don't get too hot. And it's important too that you don't go with a cold battery to supercharger. It's very bad too for the battery. And these things I do not. And so I will get long life from the battery. I'm very um, want to look how long this battery will hold. It lost now 8% with 150,000 kilometers. And now it has a level it will lost anything for a long time. Your record is unofficial. It's not recognized by uh, Guinness Book. Uh, why do you think that is that? Have you talked to them? Have you contacted or have you been contacted by them? I've been contacted to Guinness Book, but they are not interested because Tesla is nothing doing for it. So it remains an unofficial, but still a real record. Yes, if I will do new records, perhaps later they will do something. But it's not so important for me if I'm standing in or not. And when new uh, information appears about you online, there is always an, a maze of uh, fans 
how do you manage to cover so many miles in one year? You said you, sometimes you cover 200,000 kilometers mm -hmm. in one year. So uh, just to assure you that your fans and followers, it, it is actually real mileage. You are driving this car so much. So it's, it's what are you doing? It's not cheating. It's not uh, doing the numbers and uh, making up numbers. Of course, I need a lot of time to drive because I'm driving not so fast and uh, I'm sitting sometimes eight, ten hours in the car. That's a, that's a dedication. I, but I have the time, so I take it. And you're en enjoying doing it? I'm enjoying. I hear my music, classical music, and I do it in the living room or in the car. It's not so much different. So we are now on renowned, limitless German motorways. How fast do you drive uh, with this Tesla usually on uh, German autobahn? Most of 100 kilometers per hour. So you are driving basically on the right lane to let other drive faster. Yes, I have a very low consumption. You can see here about 1,228,000 kilometers with only 158 wow. watt hours. Today we need a lot of more because it's raining. Yeah. Driving a little bit faster. So, and the total energy consumption for this 1.2 million kilometers is 194 megawatts, if I see. It. Yes. It's yes. It's this. Are you still uh, passionate or attracted by petrol or diesel cars? No. I don't like them anymore. So for you it was a complete change and yes. change from the first time. I can drive sometimes 300,000 kilometers without any problem. I have to go somewhere. So it, it was quite a reliable car? Yes. How long do you plan to keep it then? Uh, reaching 2 million miles, I, I'm sure, and then uh, after that keeping it uh, further? I know about a Volvo in California. It has 5,400,000 kilometers. I see you know it. And I would like to drive more. Wow, that's, <laughs> that's an, quite an aim. Yes, I have to hurry up because I'm getting older. <laughs> <laughs>